we're gonna talk about steering systems, particularly the rotary helm steering system. Uh, pretty standard on most pontoon boats. You might see a rack and pinion system, but it's pretty rare nowadays. You're more than likely gonna see a rotary system, rotary helm uh, for your steering console. A lot of people get overwhelmed by this. It's not too bad. A couple steps to follow to make it easy and do it right. You've got your piece that's gonna actually hold that helm in place. This, I like to just center. There's a nice easy hole. This is a large console uh, from pontoonstuff.com. But if you have this classic console, the standard size, there's still a dimple in there. You can set everything up. I like to put my two bolt holes up on top. This is gonna actually inlay inside of the dash down in there, and then we'll connect our steering system to it. Um, but again, I like to put my two holes on top because if you're pulling on the, con on the steering wheel, maybe you're trying to get up and you hold onto it, I'd rather there be two bolts for support there than one. So what I'll do is I'll line this up. I'm gonna trace around with a Sharpie, and then I'll Dremel that out so that this drops right in nice and snug. Then I can put my bolts in, that's gonna hold everything in place, and then we'll get to the steering system itself. With this in place, I can go ahead, drill my holes, and install my larger brass bolts uh, and nylock nuts, the nylon locking nuts, uh, with washers on the backside. So the bolts will go through, head facing out, nuts on the inside, tighten everything down, then we can get to installing the steering rotary helm itself. So we've got our plate installed into our panel here. So as you see, it lays in. Then my rotary system has three holes that are threaded for these smaller brass uh, bolts to thread into. When you orient this, be remembering that typically your hole for your steering, your throttle, everything that's coming into your dash is gonna be near the railing uh, if you're on the starboard side or the right side of the boat where the helm typically is in a pontoon, that hole is going to be to the right side or right half of the console just because most of your stuff is running on top of the outer pontoon, the starboard pontoon, to come up through the floor. So I'm going to orient this. This is where I receive the cable, these open sides. I'm going to orient that to the outside of the boat so that the cable can come up. A steering cable doesn't have a lot of flexibility. We want to make sure that we give it big soft bends. Don't try to kink it or 90 degree bend it. Big soft bend. So I'm going to orient this in a direction that will receive the steering cable nice and easy. Good soft bends make my job easier coming up through the floor and installing it too. So I've got it oriented underneath here. I'm going to just hold it in place. Line up my three threaded holes. And then these are just 7 16 bolts and once I get two of them in it'll hold my position and if you look here it lines up with those holes that are in the helm that are gonna hold the rotary system in place so go ahead and tighten those down The next piece is installing your bezel. So this is gonna cover everything that we've created underneath. And that's what gives you that nice clean look on your dash with the steering wheel on top. So this is simple. I'm just gonna square everything up. And then all I need to do is run my two stainless screws that come with it right into the dash. You will often need an extension for your drill bit. Because these are buried, you don't see the screws. Once your bezel's in place, then we can put together the rest of the unit. So what we're gonna do is take this little half moon uh, key, that's gonna hold your steering wheel orientation in place. Not a bad idea. Hit this with a little bit of grease because if you ever need to change out your steering wheel or steering system, if you have a little bit of grease on this, it's gonna make your job a lot easier in the future. Not gonna hurt your steering, but gonna make your uh, future wrenching a lot easier. The key is going to fit into the little slot on your rotary steering system. Once our key is in place on the steering shaft, then I can take my steering wheel. There's little key holes in here. I'm just going to line them up, pop that on. Then I'm going to take my washer, slide that onto it, and then a nut. It's going to take a three-quarter inch socket to tighten that down. 
I don't think there's a sharper complement to the dash panels here and this whole system than this awesome carbon fiber steering wheel. Three quarter inch socket. I can just spin the wheel or I could hold the wheel and use a socket. But I'm gonna snug this down. That's gonna help set that key. Then, put my cap or cover cap on. I'm ready to go. Real quick, when feeding in our steering cable, you have, uh, it looks like a corkscrew on the end. That's your rotary cable. That is gonna feed into either of these slots. And when we start to push it in, we'll pull these pins out. When we start to push it in, we can turn the wheel and it'll help pull the cable in. When you get to the point, you'll see on the end of your cable, there's a, a little divot around the brass part. And that's what's actually gonna pop into place and lock in. So you will need to, to give it a little bit of help with the wheel. And then there's a quick release button on here that you can use these pins to actually push into this little divot. There's one on each side. And sometimes that will help pull that cable into place. You'll hear it and feel it pop. Once it's in place, it's set. You can't pull it out, you're ready to steer.